Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Playoffs 53. Uh, second round match between Jonza and his Nurgle and Max 115 with his Necromantic. Um, not much of this Necromantic team, that's why he's got a wizard and two babes. Mm, mighty Blow Wolf, Bloodstep Tackle. Mighty Blow Tackle, Pluck Couple Pluck Guards. And the ball carrier, yeah, it's a very light, very, very light Necro team. And a decent Nurgle team, not a super heavy Nurgle team. Got a ball carrier, got a claw pommer. Got a couple of claw mighties and a couple of guards. So, two pretty, you know, not super loaded out teams. Should be super interesting. Ask, uh, if you ask Kalo. Plan is for the necro. I guess you know maybe. I guess really hard from that score. Like the noble team's so strong, and then with the foul appearances the and everything as well. It's just a really, real struggle to get their offense done. They might have to use the wizard on offense themselves. But if they don't, I guess they can just stand in the way on defense and maybe get the wizard to uh, stop the score and win one nil. But it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for the Necro. It's always kind of tough, isn't it, for the uh, like bash teams in a bash mirror. And uh, it's not a mirror, but it's it's a bash mirror. Like Necro, it's just a bash team. Even though people say teams are hybrid teams, they're not. They're just weak bash teams. <laughs> there you go, instant cans. Regen fails. He's going to use that as the cue to uh, go in. Up, up, base, base, base. Maybe he could have had the ball from here. There's an instant Kaz back. That's the power and the bludger. Powers me bludger. I mean, he's got a bit of movement, hasn't he? Two ghouls and two wolves. Like he's got to try and use that somehow, but maybe just score early. Did he think that was a one day? I think he might have thought that was a one day. Because he was like strength five, wasn't he? And then just. Or he didn't realise that there wasn't somebody there. But his guard, anyway. So. <laughs> I hate, hate trying to uphill a block stand firm player. Funny, isn't it, how Nurgle are absolutely terrible until they're actually quite good. Just going for the zom uh, the zombie, the fleshy. Interesting. Thought he might run around and hit a ghoul or a wolf. 
but it's his like only tackler, isn't it? So he wants to keep him central and protected. Yeah, already going for the two plus, trying to go down the sideline and can't even say it's bad, honestly. Sucks to be sucks to be the necro. <laughs> This is diabolical, isn't it? Turn three, sideline cage. It's got to get pressed in. No chance to stall it. And if you're lucky, you'll score on turn four. 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 Bit rowdy. Gets a Kaz. <laughs> so there you go. It just just shows just goes to show that pile on every time is the correct play. Oh lovely GFIs. That's the uh should, oh my god, this block is too good, isn't it? You've got to make this block. Gets the knockdown, gets the tentacles on four players, and it lets him close in the sideline as well. Oh, oh man. Oh no, I'm, no, I hate that. One, two, three, four. Put him there, right, so that he can't, he can't reverse. Oh, he's using a rear on that. Oh. oh man, this guy could have come here. Can I really show it down? Well, four fails, KO'd. If you don't want a pylon, just play with the ball through. <laughs> yeah, true, to be fair, maybe. Maybe it's the Ricks of the world that uh, are the ones left playing. Uh, you can uh, surf the uh, sidestepper here, can you? Or not now. I will kill them. <laughs> oh, he can still surf him, right? Because he just punches him and then surfs him. Oh, man. I hate that. Could have filled that in, pushing all these three months left in, but I guess. Pumping in is, uh, is almost an automatic removal anyway, right? Score. Because what else was he going to do? Like, yeah, <laughs> he was just screwed. His team was completely in fear of it. And he thought that was the only way he was going to get a touchdown at all. didn't even hate trying for it because how else are you going to score? That's the problem. Oh, just lying down. Yeah, I think he could have tried to get away from the... Uh, could have done something here, but... If the problem is if he does something he gets claw palm, doesn't he? So. Yeah, maybe it's best just to lie down. Oh, he could bolt, couldn't he, on turn seven? He could bolt. He didn't move the others! Or was he trying to bolt, draw the bolt, maybe? I wonder if he was trying to draw the bolt by not moving the other guy. We stood up and given a hit, so I, I imagine there'll be a Kaz uh, fleshy because of it. <laughs> mm. 
Yep. Let that be a lesson to you for trying to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Lies down for the whole half, does one thing, instantly cast. That's pretty typical, isn't it? That's Blood Bowl. That's Blood Bowl for me. I mean, it's, it's just a nothing Necro team, mate. I don't know how he won his first round. I, don't know. I can't remember who he played in his first round, but... He hasn't got a lot to the team, has he? And obviously even less now. Yeah, I mean, you'd have expected three of these to fail, but, man, the, the ghoul the ghoul not regening really feels bad. I mean, if you don't want to get piled on, just don't play Blood Bowl, I think is the answer, day for him. I don't think anybody should play Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> Unless they've got serious problems. Yeah, you're just getting sneaky, get dirty played, yeah. It's, it's, one, it's one high roll removal lottery replaced with a different one. Except, instead of it relying on a legend, on a select few teams, it's on any random fella after he gets two level ups. So, you know. And you can argue that uh, Sneaky Git is way worse than Clawpom ever was. What's funny is people. Some, I remember somebody saying that it's easier to play around Sneaky Git than it is easier to play around Clawpom. Whereas I thought, you know, obviously unless the team is like the Mr. Page team with like you know five or six Clawpom, it's a team like this one. There's only one Clawpom. There's, there's lots of strategies you can employ to try and to try to mitigate his uh, his impact. But if they've got a Sneaky Git DP, there's really not a whole lot you can do. He just fouls and removes and fouls and removes and fouls and removes. <laughs> you can never hit him because he's always he's hit, he's like you know he's fouling and running behind the screen and that isn't he? So provided they can two dice block somebody, they can foul. Elliot banging out many bash teams with his pro elf team on his way to winning a major on fumble. Just because Sneaky Git is OP. And like, you know, I think it's fine. Like, I, I I always used to enjoy fouling. So... I think fouling's fun, and it's good that it's good. But also... In terms of, like, Blood Bowl being a competitive game at all. It's pretty shit. <laughs> Also, it comes into play in table game, doesn't it? Which is interesting. I guess the problem is they're being I can't play it there. It's not as much as... There's not so much gameplay between the two people. It's just rolling dice and see if your team dies. Roll some dice and see who wins. Which is what would happen if... Uh, if full TV Plus was adopted, which everybody would hit, right? Because it just turns Blood Bowl into Snap, and I guess that's what Sneaky Git does a bit. Yeah, like Mass. I mean, Mass Corp on was super rare, wasn't it? Mass Corp on was super rare. Yeah. I mean, the worst thing about Sneaky Kid is the fact he'd be playing Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> that was interesting, I thought you might have just not bothered activating the beast there, seeing the zombie walk and, uh, and a zombie. 
home. <laughs> the Dublé one. I mean, I'm okay with, with like, you know, DP being in there. From personal enjoyment of fouling. It just for a competitive game, it's, it's, it's obviously not a good mechanic. Because it's just like a skills high reason. It would be like having like it's it's kind of like the uh, the what what are they called the uh, the tournaments in poker where like the blinds go up really really quickly like turbo and nitro and all those kind of things whatever whatever that is like it's just less skill involved isn't it because you just have to uh, you just have to shove pretty quickly. <laughs> But some people enjoy it, so like, you know, it's, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. It can be a bad thing for competitive, but a good thing for enjoyment. Like the, like the uh, skill leveling ups. You know, it's fairer that everyone, you know, pays a set amount for what they get and stuff, but it's a lot less fun. Been rolling for. Uh, there's five Necro left on the pitch. Uh, this was over. You know, about five turns ago. <laughs> no matter what Elliot says. Oh, well, he's, he's got the ball and the scoring threat. So he, he does have to decide between three dicing the ball or. Hitting the score and threat. I think he might three dice the ball. Mm, he does. It was over a while ago. This is a bit crap, though. Just roll a stun, no problem. Beast in action. Ball secured. Oh, and then he's over there. He was already in a cage, wasn't he? But or any anything he does from this point. It's over. Say it's over. Ghoul gets cast. Does he regen? No. No regen again. Diced. Yeah. Re Ghoul. Ghoul is Ghoul that hasn't regen. How, how unlucky can you get? <laughs> Maybe it's bug. <laughs> I wonder when undead get added to Blood Bowl 3, I wonder how many tickets there are saying my ghouls never regen. <laughs> Fix your damn game, Cyanide. <laughs> Probably be some people saying it. <laughs> well, this is a pretty easy ball sack, isn't it? Uh, 
escape tentacles, roll a 5+, plus. escape tentacles, roll a 3+, plus. and then GFI one dice with wrestle. So he, he did the play. He was still trying. I mean, he's 1-0 down as well, right? So, so even if it had worked, nothing really changes. But there's no need to call Gary on. <laughs> he did the correct action. <laughs> That was a bit of a dicing, wasn't it? Like three out of three regen fails, loads of removals. But but even then, like his team's just just shit compared to the Nurgle team. And the Nurgle team isn't super good, but it was it was enough better than the uh, Necro that it just looked impossible for the Necro to win. <laughs> it was. Carry on! Ah, I love the I love the exclamation point, Carry. Wow, here we go. The Necro forcing in the 2 0 touchdown. <laughs> I mean, this isn't this isn't huge, is it? This is. Like, this team is nothing compared to Mr. Pages. Oh my god. The pass and the catch and the handoff back. Outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> Loved the uh, loved the pass in, in that era BB game. Like I would have just you know if I'd used the reroll on the dog to the pickup I would have just scored. But with still having the reroll in hand had to go for it. Didn't I? Had to be a greedy scumbag. At least he had his mighty global briefly. Well, this is over. Say it's over. <laughs> I mean, there's no point going for the one turn, right? Because he's 2-1 down anyway, but he, he's going for it anyway and failed. <laughs> I get a random cast to finish it off. White foul. R bit of a rare animation there. And killed him, so there you go. Did get the Randall curse to finish it off. <laughs> oh dear. There you 
you go. A bit of an absolute battering there for Max one one five, but you know at least he, at least he got there. And uh, congratulations to Jonza. Pretty easy two 0 win. And uh, on to the next round. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.